Hello, welcome to Rome Total War, my new media campaign, part 7, Sexy Battles, Jim here. Well, here we are again. Um, been a few turns, I haven't had no battles. We're still only at war with Spain. And um, the graphs over here are kind of interesting. You can see that um, the House of Bruti is doing pretty good. Whereas Scipio is just okay. And SPQR is just kind of flatlined, and same with um, House of Julii. Uh, down here, Gaul. Gaul's pretty hairy. And um, the Germans are still doing pretty good. And the Greek cities are still in it. And I'm doing okay. So we'll dispense with this and this. The reason we're down here is there's a fleet over here hiding out with a mob on board. They're kind of beat up looking, but nonetheless, it's a mob. And so darn it, button uh, control here. I put these two ships out here to try to intercept this guy if he starts to move forward. Um, this would probably be his target here. I've clogged up all the possible landing spots with infantry, and we're still dotted with forts. Over here in our capital, we're still having some trouble with our uh, finances. But have you ever seen... Um, armored peasants before <laughs> look at these guys armor 2 defense 5 uh, yeah these are formidable peasants <clears throat> and my fleet out here very nasty stuff armor 5 total defense 9 and that's because of what we have built in here okay now we have um, all sorts of lovely stuff including an armor in here some other place Royal Palace, uh, City Barracks, where is it at here? Anyway, we have an armory around here somewhere. Uh, a foundry, excuse me, foundry. There we are. This thing adds plus two to everything. It's very, uh, very nice to have. Very formidable um, building. Quite nice. Okay. And as for the House of Scipii, what's this? So that's my guy over there. Let's move him back over here and Oh, there they are. We managed to bump off one of their commanders. Yeah, I do believe this is the last of their cities here. So I'm not really too worried about them. The Greeks are still holding out over here in Syracuse. And we managed to kill one of the um, commanders over here. They um, seem to be holed up in this uh, big town here. A lot of guys. Let's see, do we have anybody over here? No, we moved them over here, yeah. These two assassins. Okay. And up here in Rome, let's go over here. We're still monitoring all this stuff over here. You can see that um, Gaul is still holding a lot of uh, these towns up here. Even this one, which is surprising. And they're actually pushing through here, threatening the Romans. If I go over here, you can see the Romans are besieging this place. It's still, I do. I just moved back here. So if I move over here, I'll probably still be there. We'll do that just to take a look. Yep, they're still there. Big army. Look at those guys. Very formidable. And down here, we've been moving a, a diplomat slowly down the peninsula. And we've been patrolling a ship around here, just watching stuff, taking a look at everything. Just to keep track of what's happening. We'll move him back up here. Well, let's move him over here just for fun. Well, there's something over there. Look at that. Aha. We have to move kind of slowly every now and then because you can spot all kinds of stuff and you can miss things if you move too fast. Hey, look at that. There's somebody on board. Scary, yeah? Okay, Greece is pretty much under control of the house of um, Brutai here. <coughs> Dicea has taken over Setha, whatever, is uh, this last big town here. I do believe the, the Greek faction has wiped out one of them anyway. Um, these guys are pretty formidable. It's a rather large army. The Thracians, they're still in it. And we moved a ship over here. Let's get it out of the way so nobody decides to attack us. And there's a barbarian town here and a Greek city over here. I've done too much exploring over in this neck of the woods. Just keeping an eye on the uh, <coughs> Egyptians. Now, back over here, let's see, um, we're 
We're still looking around with our finances. Let's see what the next turn looks like. Not too bad. 6,400. We have 56,000 right now. And we're going to hit the end of turn here in just a second and see what we look like. We're building a temple here to try to quell the um, unrest. And there's a bunch of other things to build too. Uh, bazaars and all sorts of things. But what's starting to worry me are these jokers. The Gaelic forces. They have chosen swordsmen and these weird heavy um, cavalry units. I don't know if they're heavy or not, but they look pretty formidable. So what I'm going to try to do here um, is take this place to secure Spain proper after we take this place here. It has one turn left, so we'll go ahead and hit the next turn and see if the reinforcements back them up or what. There's a whole bunch of guys over here. Um, my main force up here. So let's see what happens. Well, I had hoped they would surrender. I would be willing to bet a thousand to one, even with five to two odds, if I hit auto battle, I'll get killed. So let's go ahead and fight this on the battlefield. Okay, here we go. Just gonna drop these rams. I may not do too much talking here. some action here. Bring in some more of these guys. These guys are pretty formidable, but they're going quickly. Okay, we'll just end the battle here. Hooray for our team. Got a little bit hurt. That's okay. The whole point was to take the place. Our first battle in quite a long time. Kind of a little, a little sloppy and a little bloody, but good fight. Oh, the big money. I can sure use it. I need it. Who are these cats? Go away. You're bugging me, man. You're cramping my style. Be off, I say. What's that? Oh no, I think I just broke the bank. The, p the point of doing that is to go ahead and clog up this pass as fast as possible. We all know that. Let's see what this says here. Recruitment. Aha, paved roads. Some announcements. City grows. Here we go. Okay. 
Royal Palace. I think we can afford that. What do you guys think? Got a couple bucks here. One Royal Palace coming up. And a turn report. Good money. Faction destroyed out with Spain. Resistance is futile. And here's something. He didn't die. This is crazy. Look at my faction leader. He's 106 years old. Well, I believe this will be the end of turn 7. Um, my first battle since Carthage. In how many years? My god. Um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and search around the battlefield to see if there's anything really significant. See what the next turn looks like. Projected profits are nil, but they'll pick right back up. It always does that. And these guys are still holding out. Okay, looks good. Looks very good. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and quit the recording now. If I see anything that's um, significant, like maybe down here, I might go ahead and step in here and just take it. Might try to buy it. I'm not sure. But we sure can't get in there. And um, I believe I have a spy. 56% chance of getting in. That's not bad. Very good. It's a good spy. Okay. You guys have a um, good day, a good week. You fellow new minion campaigners out there, even though I'm unofficial, sad, and silly as that is. Oh well. I play a weird game, like um, Coda points out. Very strange. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, we'll see you. Oh yeah, I'd just like to uh, thank all you new media players for putting your videos out there. Great fun to watch. I've learned quite a lot. I'd like to put out a special thanks again to Biscuits for uh, putting this out for all of us to play. Great idea, wonderful stuff. Best of uh, luck to all you guys, and my best wishes on your campaigns. Take it easy.